Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So I was hardcore cuddling with the fur babies. And as you guys know, I am allergic to cats. So my eyes earlier were super red. And now that's why they're kind of swollen and I have fur all over me. And you know, we're just fine with that. It's just fur baby glitter. Like we're totally fine. I noticed that I like to mention something about my appearance that I know other people are going to mention. So it's like, I just mentioned it first. Like folks, I know, like my eyes, they're swollen. My cheeks are probably swollen right along with it. I have fur all over me. I look a hot mess. Like my hair is fried. And I know you guys have been seeing me just like sit here. I think this is like the third video in a row. It's just easier for me right now as I get back into like the swing of things and like filming again. Right now I'm just giving you guys like random little tiny updates in my life. And I'm okay with that for now. Like eventually we're gonna get back into vlogging. Like you guys are gonna see more vlogs and stuff. But right now it's just like, this is an update, hello, hello. So update on my mental health, as you guys know, I have been going through it and that's putting it lightly. I've just been like in this funk, but I am slowly getting out of that. I feel myself getting out of it, but like I still have random funky moments as we call it. Um, and it brings me to like the other topic of discussion. Like I have never really shared my experience with having borderline personality disorder, which is BPD, as you guys have heard me talk about that frequently. I was diagnosed, I wanna say like a year and a half ago uh, by a psychologist. It was someone who I was seeing for weight loss surgery initially. And then when I realized I didn't want weight loss surgery, I still kept seeing her. I kept seeing her because like, it was therapy that genuinely was changing my life, actively changing my life. And that is also when I was diagnosed with CTPTSD or something like that. It's just like, it's obvious. It's like, if you go through a lot of traumatic things as a child, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have some sort of PTSD from that. And I definitely do. But I think what shook me to the core was being diagnosed with BPD because for the longest time, I was like, I don't even know what that is. Like, I kind of judged it, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I don't have a personality disorder. Like, I don't know why I took offense to that because there were people who would reach out to me for all of my time on YouTube. People would reach out to me and be like, you have borderline personality disorder and I would take like actual offense to it. But when I was diagnosed, I learned more about it and still to this day, I'm learning more about it. And it's like, wow, that explains why I've been the way that I've been my whole life majority of my life and as an adult like she ain't getting better like i'm i'm all the symptoms that i have of bpd like those things are still there and they're prominent in my life and i am thinking about sharing more about that because i've discovered there's a lot of you who also struggle with the same thing and feeling alone and feeling lonely not a good feeling for anybody let alone people with bpd it feels scary and it does feel very like you're alone and I don't want people to feel that way and I also don't want to be coming on here and like sharing my experience as someone who's not getting help so I have actually found a psychiatrist slash therapist who I'm gonna be speaking to I'm gonna be calling I have not called yet I have discovered them I have found them I know about them and they know nothing about me yet but that is one step closer. I don't want to be coming on here speaking about my experience while not getting help. That's not going to help me. It's not going to help anyone watching. And I, I want to be proof because there's tons of proof, but I want to be one of the ones proof that like we will be okay by getting help. And I have realized that I might need to be medicated again. And that's fine. If that's what a professional thinks will help me with my symptoms, let's do it because it's like i really do separate myself from like the bpd side of me and then like the real side of me and it's two completely different people and i just want to see more of me like my true authentic self without bpd just like clouding my judgment constantly and turning me into someone that i'm not speaking of medicine and being medicated i don't know what reminded me of this but um, Tommy and I, we like to watch movies together. I'm not gonna lie, it takes her and I um, a few days to finish one movie. I'm not gonna lie, and that's okay. It's it's kind of enjoyable to be honest, but we've watched a lot of movies lately. We'll watch like 30 minutes at a time, but 
a recent movie we watched is The Substance. And I was going into it kind of like blind. I didn't really know what I was expecting. But you guys, it was the creepiest, weirdest movie I've seen in the longest time. So highly recommend. So if you guys like weird, creepy movies, definitely go for it. Like the premise is this woman, she's getting older and she feels as if her age is preventing her from going further in her career. She's like famous and now people are like, oh, well, you're old, we need someone younger. So she gets this substance that she injects inside of her and it's supposed to make her into her better self. And what happens is something that I don't think I'll ever be able to get out of my mind ever again in my life. It is so freaking weird. I recommend it, I do. I, it's like, it was a roller coaster. The middle of it, I was like, a little bored. This needs to pick up. Like, I was very intrigued in the beginning. The middle, I was like, okay, what's really gonna happen? But then the end, just like, I'm a little traumatized. So next thing I wanna talk about is like, scheduling for YouTube. As you guys know, I'm a scheduling queen, but then I always fail at the scheduling. So we're not gonna schedule. I don't want there to be any expectations of me at this point, because it's just like, I actively, cannot fail anybody right now or it's just gonna i'm gonna have another breakdown like i don't want to fail you guys i don't want to fail myself so having expectations is just absolutely silly but this brings me into like vlogmas vlogmas is coming up and that's always been my most favorite time of year i love christmas christmas is my favorite holiday i love the decorations i love giving i'm very much a gift giver as you guys know i love the music i love the vibes it just puts me in a happy space I love watching other people's vlogmas. I love filming my own vlogmas. Last year I didn't do it because I was going through like bad headspace. Remember, you guys were there for it. That's the only time I have never decorated for Christmas because I was in such like a bad headspace that I couldn't even bring myself to decorate for Christmas. Like that's crazy. So why was I gonna do vlogmas? I wasn't gonna like sit there and cry to you guys every single day. Like, no, I'm good. I think we're all good off of that. But I know a lot of people love my vlogmas even if I'm staring at the wall. So let's do it together. A lot of you want me to do vlogmas, a lot of you. And I've had this discussion back and forth with people on Instagram and you guys have given me a lot of ideas. Some of you were like, do vlogmas every other day. So that would only be like 12 videos. And then someone actually gave me the idea, three minute vlogmases. Like, and if you go over three minutes, then awesome. That's amazing. At least you're uploading every single day, even if it's three minutes. And I'm like, you know what? That's kind of a good idea. So as of right now, what I'm thinking is every day I want to upload for Vlogmas, even if it is just three minutes, because I don't want there to be an expectation of length in my videos. I think that's what's been getting to me lately is like I would post these like eight minute vlogs, 10 minute vlogs, 12 minute vlogs, and it's just like wasn't long enough for people and like people would complain about it. They weren't happy with it. And you know what? For Vlogmas, I have to throw out those complaints because I think about them constantly. But for Vlogmas, I have to just throw it out. And if I upload a three minute vlog, then I upload a three minute vlog and I'm gonna be okay with that as long as I'm doing it every single day. As of right now, that's what I wanna do. I know that's still putting expectations up, but they're not expectations that I feel like I can't succeed in. I feel like I can do that. And if I can't do that, then just know that it is because of my mental health because deep down, I want to do that. I love Vlogmas, like truly, truly. So as of right now, like we're gonna have a mini Vlogmas, we're gonna call it, you know, because it will be daily, but it's just gonna be short videos. What is gonna be in those videos? We don't know. So another thing I wanna talk about is, as you guys know, I was doing like daily Q and A's on Instagram. That's where I get a lot of like, things as of lately where people are like what's going on with this what's going on with that and i think that's why i like to do those because when i disappear off of youtube i still like to have some sort of correspondence with you guys but something that was brought up was me and tommy don't drink anymore i said how we stopped drinking and i never said why and i just i, I didn't want to because like it's tommy's business and i don't want to put anything out there that like i don't have permission to share like i get it a decade ago nine years ago eight years ago that Amberlynn, she shared a lot of stuff that she shouldn't have but i'm just not that person anymore like that was my early 20s i am currently fixing to be 34 in like a month like 
she just she's wired a little bit differently i also think that feline helped a lot with that but also just like aging and maturing like truly so the reason why we don't drink anymore is because tommy's having health problems i don't want to like go into detail but i will say that's also like definitely something that's been wearing on my mental health because i'm absolutely worried for her it's something that she's been going through for a long time and um it's hard and recently as of recently even just like one drink of alcohol for her can affect her in like a really bad way so so for her health she has stopped drinking and it's like why am i gonna drink in front of her if she can't like that's stupid i'm very much a social drinker like if i'm drinking by myself there's usually an issue but if i'm drinking on live stream or if i'm drinking like in person with friends or my girlfriend it's like very much like a social drinking um and yes that includes when i'm on live stream because when i'm on live stream like i genuinely feel like i'm hanging out with a bunch of friends but definitely keep her in your thoughts please because she's actively going through a lot with her health and she's trying to get it figured out and it's just been scary and i'm trying to be there for her like as much as i can she's trying to take healthier steps in her life and by not drinking is definitely a healthy step and she gave me permission to share that by the way so that's why i told you guys also in the last video i posted i said dogs plural because they were barking i said dogs and i said how i take out dogs in the morning and you guys were like wait what tommy has dogs tommy does have a dog one dog and his name is milo you guys i'm telling you milo and twinkie are the cutest little best friends i've ever seen in my life like seeing them just like in the yard like running and like having fun together and they'll eat together they they just like bark together they just do everything together they like copy each other like back and forth copying each other it's so cute a lot of you were always like will you get a dog for twinkie like not even for yourself but for twinkie so she has a friend and Twinkie's weird about dogs. I don't know what it is. I think it's mainly because she's jealous, but her mom will be loving on her all the time. So her and Milo are like two besties. Literally all the pets get along. I know you guys ask about Rarity and Wasabi as well. Everyone gets along with everyone. Like it literally couldn't have worked out better. So to end this video, I actually have a Target haul. It's just like random stuff. I don't even know. So let's like get into it. I haven't done a Target haul in forever so i figured like maybe it'll jump start my vlogging senses that like i need to start vlogging you know and it wouldn't be an amber video without getting a journal no this is a planner so it's undated so you literally just circle the month and day of what it is on every single page because i want to like build a better routine while i'm here in wisconsin because i just noticed like i have like little tiny routines but it's nothing like that makes me feel satisfied. Like when I was in Oklahoma, like you guys didn't see that, but trust me, I was satisfied with my life and my routine and what I did every single day because like I was in my own environment and I created a life for myself. So while I'm in Wisconsin, like I wanna create a life for myself that isn't just like me attached to Tommy's hip because as, as you guys know, well, most of you know, when you have BPD, you do choose like a favorite person. That isn't the psychological word for it, but you become extremely attached to someone and you make them your whole world. I need to figure out how not to do that. Like I genuinely just want to be more in tune with myself and like create routines for myself as well as like being a part of Tommy's routine. Ah, I know it sounds crazy to some people and you guys are probably like, what the heck? But it's all BPD coded trust me and i'm trying so hard like i have to fight with myself not to let like certain bpd symptoms rule my life so getting a planner will help with that i know that sounds crazy but it makes sense trust me so i needed some more toothpaste so i just got some crest pro health nothing special there and then i needed more shampoo and conditioner so i got some frizz control kind by herbal essence and we'll see um sulfate free hemp oil i don't know we'll see how it works like i'm still trying to find the perfect shampoo and conditioner i needed more toothbrushes because i like to change mine out once a month i needed more body wash i like this antibacterial care 
Dove body wash. I literally am obsessed and it smells so good. Like you wouldn't expect something like this to smell so freaking good, but oh, it does girl. So I needed some hair ties because I literally only brought one to Wisconsin and I can't find it. So I got some of these and then I needed some of these really small ones because I like to wear my hair with those two small like pigtails like this. And I haven't been able to do that because I don't have any of these really small hair ties. And that's what I need to do that hairstyle. So bought that. So obviously for my planner, I needed pens. So I just got some colorful pens. And you guys know that I'm a journaling queen. And you guys always ask, what is your favorite pen? I love a Paper Mate pen. Paper Mate all the way. Ink Joy. Okay. Ink Joy. Paper Mate. Highly recommend. And then last but not least, this is Rawhide Free. They're premium tasty twists made with real chicken. So I got these for the doggos as well. So that is my little Target haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It is a random update. I am just sitting here again. But again, we're just trying to get back into the swing of things. And yeah, I love you guys. Um, I have something really exciting actually about to go down. And I was gonna share it in this video, but we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to share it. I don't know if it's gonna be exciting for y'all, but it is beyond exciting for me. It is the best thing that literally could have ever happened to me in my whole entire life. So I will tell you guys about that um, in an upcoming video. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.